Welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley with Brindle Boob Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the Aspen cardigan. It's an easy level knit pattern. Let's go over the materials you're going to need. For the yarn I'm using Lion Brand Wool Spun. It's a bulky weight 5 yarn. Unfortunately it's no longer available. It has been discontinued. Um, I thought they were going to bring it back this year, but it was just a limited run on their website. So I will link below some other yarn suggestions you can um, definitely use for this pattern. For the needles, you are going to need a pair of 6.5mm and a pair of 8mm circular needles. And then along with every other pattern, you'll need... Uh, tapestry needle, scissors, and stitch markers. This pattern is available in three different sizes on my website, and that is extra small, small, medium large, and extra large 2x. For this tutorial, I will be making the medium large size. You can find the stitch counts and measurements for the other sizes on my blog at brindlebabe.com. This pattern works from the bottom up and we're going to make a back panel, two front side panels, and then we will be picking up stitches to make the, um, the sleeves. To begin, you're going to cast on 58 stitches with your 6.5 millimeter needles. Then we are going to be working our ribbing. So you're going to knit, purl, knit, purl, and repeat that all the way to the end. Once you finish that, you're going to repeat the same steps of knitting and purling for seven more rows. And this will make the ribbing for the base of your back panel. I'm just showing you a, sol a small sample. Um, for the sake of the video. Now that you have finished your ribbing for your back panel, we are going to switch over to our 8mm um, needles. So I do that by um, starting with the needle that I don't have any live stitches on. I'll switch that to the 8mm, I'll work one row, and then switch the other side to 8mm. Okay, now we're going to begin our stockinette rows. So you're going to knit all the stitches for this first row after your ribbing. And then going right into the next row, you're going to purl. And you're just going to go ahead and repeat that for a total of 100 rows. Now the 100 rows does not include your ribbing, so exclude that when you're counting your rows. All right, so here is our back panel, all finished up. Now we're gonna move on to the front side panels. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna follow the same steps beginning with your ribbing as we did before. So for your side panels, you're going to, with your 6.5 millimeter needles, you're going to cast on 34 stitches. And you're going to work the eight row, rows of ribbing. Once you're finished with your ribbing, make sure you switch to your eight millimeter needles. Now we're going to do um, the front panels a little bit differently than the back. We're not doing fully stockinette rows. 
um, what you're going to do is you're going to knit all stitches for the first row after your ribbing and that's going to be considered your right side. So for our wrong side, you're going to knit the first five stitches, purl the next 24 stitches, and then knit the last five stitches. And this is going to give us a border on both sides of our front panels. So, so that we don't have to end up going back and picking up for like a collar, it'll already be worked into the into your piece. So for each of your right side rows, you're just going to go ahead and knit all stitches and then repeat this same row for your wrong side. So knitting the five, purling 24, and then knitting the last five. And you're going to repeat that for the same number of rows as your back panel. So you're going to repeat it for a total of 100 rows and make sure you're not including your ribbing when you're counting your rows. Alright, so here's the front panel. This is what it should look like. And you want to make sure that you go ahead and make two of these. Once you're finished with your back panel and your two side panels, we're going to go ahead and seam them together. So you can see here how I already went ahead and seamed them. But you're going to lay everything flat. So you're going to lay um, your back panel right side up and your front panels wrong side up on top of each other and then just go ahead and seam along the top of where your shoulder would be um, to seam up these panels together. Next you're going to want to go ahead and seam up the sides of your work. So. Um, Keeping your panels how they're lined up, you want to make sure it's inside out whenever you're seaming. Um, along the bottom edge, you're going to go ahead and start seaming, excluding the ribbing. You want to leave the ribbing unseamed because this piece has a split seam at the end, at the bottom. So you're going to go ahead and start working from the bottom and work up, you're going to seam up to rows, 80 rows. So make sure what you're counting as you go along. Um, you're going to stop, you know, 20 rows from the top because this is going to be the opening for our armholes or our sleeves. And here I wanted to show you a finished sleeve that I already did. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and pick up stitches along the opening for our armhole depth so that we can work um, just our sleeves right off of our body panel. And we'll be working this in the round, so it'll be a little bit simpler than doing a flat panel. Now, there is a little bit of decreasing, but it's very simple. So diving into our sleeves now, you're going to want to take your 8mm needles and I'm starting at the top seam here where the shoulder seam is. You can also start at the base seam um, where like the base of your armpit would be. Um, either way works. I'm just going to start at the top here. I just prefer to start at the seam as a good starting point. So, you're going to insert your needle and you're going to pull up a loop. And continue working around. You're going to pick up a total of 47 stitches. I'll try and work that as evenly around as possible. If it helps you, you can also use a crochet hook for this method. Like, take a crochet hook, insert it, pull up a loop, and put the loop on your needle as you work around. Um, some people find that easier, but um, I just prefer to do it this way. Oh, 
Okay, now that you've picked up all of your stitches, you're going to want to place a stitch marker on your needle to note the first stitch. Then you're going to join so that we're working in the round now. And you're going to go ahead and knit a total of 12 rows before we start our decreases. Once you've reached a total of 12 rows, you're going to knit two together on the first sti two stitches and then knit all of the subsequent stitches after that. You will then knit the next two rows as normal knit rows. And on the third row, you are going to do another decrease. So knit two together and then knit each stitch after that. You're going to repeat these three rows until you have a total of 35 rows. Once you've finished your 35 rows, for the next 10 more rows you're just going to go ahead and knit normally and not do any decreases. Now we're going to go ahead and switch to our 6.5 millimeter needles and you're going to finish off the remaining rows in this needle. So you're going to work another six more rows as just normal knit rows. And then for the last eight rows, you're going to work your ribbing. So knit, purl, knit, purl. And then you're going to cast off all your stitches and that'll finish off your sleeve. I recommend that you try on your sleeve as you go along just to make sure that the length is right for your arm. Um, it should be pretty bulky at the top of the sleeve and work down um, and be pretty fitted at your wrist and the last part of your arm leading up to your wrist. Now jumping into our pockets with your 6.5 millimeter needles, you're going to cast on 16 stitches. And for the pockets, we're starting from the top down. So you're starting with the ribbing and you're going to knit, purl, knit, purl, and repeat that for the eight rows. Then you're going to go into straight into your stockinette. So you're going to knit row one, purl row two. Now, make sure you don't at any point switch to your 8mm needles. We're working with our 6.5mm needles for this, the entire part of the pockets. Now you want to work your stockinette rows for a total of 18 rows, not including your ribbing. Once you're finished with that, you're going to cast off all your stitches. Now you're going to pin your pocket to your front panel. I didn't do mine quite in the very center of my panel. I did it closer to um, where the opening would be, the front opening. Um, I feel like that just made more sense with where my hands would go into the pockets. So, but honestly, place it wherever you, you like it. Um, but I made sure when I placed it that I counted the stitches that I placed it for each corner. So counting up from the first corner on the left bottom, I counted 10 rows and then up from that was 38. So from the very bottom to the very top left edge was 38 rows. So then, um, Make sure to do that for the other side and you want to count your row, your stitches also along the bottom between your left corner and your right corner. So this is really important because it keeps everything aligned correctly. So as we seam it to the panel, it'll not look all wonky. And you also want to count the amount of stitches, like how far it is from the edge, 
So I counted four stitches from the ribbing to the left side of my pocket. Now it'll be direct opposite on the other side. And then you would have more stitches to the ribbing on the opposite edge of your pocket. So from your top right hand corner of your pocket to the edge, it's going to be more than the other side. So now you're going to cut a long tail and starting on the top left hand corner, you're going to start weaving in your stitches from the top to the bottom and then along the bottom and around it up to the opposite side. Now I'll be honest, I had to do this four different times before I got it right. You got to make sure that you're keeping your stitches aligned and your rows aligned to get this to look good. And to be even all the way around, make sure you're counting from the top of your ribbing to the bottom of your pockets for each stitch. Thanks so much for following along. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to find out and be alerted for more knit and crochet patterns that are free. And be sure to check out my website, brindlebabe.com. Thanks!